Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and this is SketchUp Square One, where we take a look at the fundamentals of using SketchUp. Today, we're going to talk about adding detail to a mesh using sandbox tools. So for this example, we are going to start with the mesh we created in the last video. So if you didn't watch the last video, we used the from scratch command to just kind of put a two foot by two foot mesh on the ground. It doesn't have to be in a specific size or anything like that, but big enough that you have, you know, a handful of squares on there. Uh, in this view, I do have hidden geometry turned on, so we're going to see the little dashed lines between the squares, cutting, you know, cutting them in inside, in half. Uh, we're going to jump in and talk about using two specific commands today. That is smooth and add details. I did not mispronounce that. Smooth. S-M-O-O-V-E. It's a combination of smooth and move. You'll see how it works. Let's go. All right. So here we go. I'm going to start with the smooth tool. It's the third button in the sandbox tool uh, toolbar. This sandbox tool toolbar is turned on by going to view and turning tool palettes, turning it on on Mac. In Windows, it is toolbars. Uh, so this is the first thing. This is what people get, get stuck on right away. Okay, click smooth and I click on my mesh and nothing's happening. Um, why is that? Well, in order for Smooth to work, I do have to be in context of a valid mesh. What does that mean? Well, it means if I pick on this, I can see, oh, it's inside of a group right now. If I double click into it, now I'm in context with the geometry. I can pick it. So now, while I'm in here, I can click Smooth. And when I, oh, there's the big circle I'm looking for. That's what I want to see. All right, when I first pull up Smooth, it's going to, I haven't clicked on anything, just moving it over the model, I can see this big red circle. This circle, if you look in the lower right corner, has a radius of 20 feet. So if I just go to the center here and I click once, look what happens. It lights up the center, and this is, it's kind of like a heat map. It, it, it dissipates as it gets further from the center. What this is saying is the points that are closest to where I just clicked the mouse are going to move along with the mouse. The points that get further and further away, all the way out to that 20 foot uh, circle are going to move the least. So if I just move my mouse straight up, look, it's going straight up. See the ones that are right next to my mouse go up right along with it. The ones that are out here on the edge move very little to the point where the corners, which were not inside the circle, stay still. So this is awesome because this is a super, super simple way to add bumps and that sort of thing to geometry. It's quick, it's easy, it keeps everything connected and it automatically smooths that geometry out. You're not gonna have these big jagged bumps or arcs or anything like that. That's pretty cool. Uh, this is big, 20 feet's a lot, so I'm just gonna hit escape once and let's shrink this down. Let's go down like 12 foot. I'm just gonna type in 12 foot. My radius changes, my circle changes. Okay, now if I click and release and start moving, I can see, okay, there, that's a little more manageable, right? So I have some con additional controls here. Um, I can actually change this as I go. So, so say I want to, let's say here, let's actually, let's go even smaller. Let's say six foot. So I can do a couple of these. I'm gonna click a point right here and I'm gonna move it up. And I'm gonna go to, uh, I'm just gonna just do 24 inches. I'm gonna type 24, hit enter. That took that center point, the, the middle of where I clicked and brought it up 24 inches. If I come over here, click, start dragging up and type in 48, I'll see I got a bump that's twice as tall as the one I had before. So pretty simple, setting the radius, you just do it at the beginning when I, I'm in this point. If I wanna to go to a specific height, I just type it as I'm dragging. It is easiest to click release, move, click release a second time to set the height you wanna to go to. If you don't, if you drag, it can be difficult because then you have to hold down the mouse button while you type in the length you, or the distance that you want. Not easy, not a whole lot of fun. The cool thing about, one, another cool thing about Smooth is I can start linking together these shapes. So I can sit, you know, with, with my circle, with my circle cursor basically that I have with Smooth, I can start creating these shapes just by clicking, releasing, moving, clicking, releasing, and I can build up or push down any of this geometry as I go. Pretty cool, great way to get that organic shape right there. But if there's specific geometry I want to move, I can do that too. So if I go to select, go to select and just pick a set of geometries, pick some geometry, 
and then I click on smooth, this is cool because what it will do is it will put all of those selected pieces at the center of my cursor basically, and then include whatever my radius is as the fall off from that geometry. So remember these are two foot squares. So here's my geometry, two foot, two foot, two foot. That's my six foot fall off to the edge there. Um, this is great because if you do want to make a specific, you know, in the case of landscape, a plateau or something like that, I can do a select of that geometry, push it up a specific height, and then I have the fall off around there. Now, something else you'll see when you come in here, I'm going to go ahead and deselect that. Uh, I'm going to come in and pull this up. If I look down at the bar down at the bottom here, I have this option for smooth perpendicular to selection. This seems kind of silly because I'm working on a mesh that's flat on the ground. So perpendicular to the mesh is straight up and down, which is what I'm doing. The reason that's there is you can actually use it on non-flat meshes. So right over here, oh, look at that. I happen to have a mesh at 45 degrees. So if I come in here and I'm going to go ahead and click that and I'm going to go big. Let's get, let's get bigger. Let's get back up to like 15 feet. If I click right now, it's going to take it vertically. See that? My mesh is going straight up and down. Because that's this is the default behavior of smooth, is go straight up and down. If I hit shift, look what happens. Now I'm dragging perpendicular to this face. Again, if your mesh is flat on the ground, these are going to look exactly the same. But if your mesh is off center, where it's not laying flat on the ground, there's a big difference between going vertical and going normal to the face. All right, pretty cool so far, so good. All right, one more tool I want to look at in this video, and that is add detail. So right here, it's the second to last item. Uh, if you click on it, we got to get we got to get in context again. Let's go get in here, and I'm gonna click add detail. So this is a, this is an odd one. A lot of people kind of overlook or or run past this. This does a couple things. So one, it allows you to grab a point, any point, and move it vertically. So Simply put, if I want to come in here and fine tune this geometry, I can actually just come in here and do this to take the existing points and maybe smooth them out or go the other way and say, add some jaggedness, you know, add some, add some points, some ridges to these rocks. I can do that with that detail. The other thing, the part that's that where it gets its name is anything I click on will become a point that I can move vertically. So that could be an edge like this. So I come through here and uh, maybe I'm creating a, a saddle here between these two peaks, or it could even be in the middle. So right here, I want to bring this point up more. I can do that just by clicking here. I got this. Ooh, I got this valley right here. Well, let's, let's click right here and bring that up a little bit real quick, real easy way to add or manipulate detail in your mesh you already have. So if you're looking to, you know, just get, some broad sweeping shapes like this, smooth is more than enough. But if you want to come in and add a little more detail, I want to just add a little more control over the mesh I have here, then add detail is going to allow you to do just that by going in and adding points that you can move vertically or selecting points you already have and sliding them up and down on the mesh. So, that should get you going on using smooth and add detail. The coolest part about this is saying the word smooth over and over again. It is, it's a fun word to say. It probably belongs on a t-shirt. Um, it is the next step in using sandbox tools. So at this point, you know how to create a mesh. You know how to create big bumps with smooth and add details with add detail. Next week, we'll come back and we'll talk about stamping and it, well, We'll finish it up with the last couple of commands. You'll see, it's gonna be a good time. If you like that video, go ahead and click like down below. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. We create several videos each and every week and you'll be notified of all of them if you subscribe. Most importantly though, please do leave us a comment down below. Have you used Sandbox Tools before? What's your favorite? How much do you like the word smooth? We like making these videos a lot, but we like them even more when they're showing something you wanna see. Thank you.